there are three things you should never ever do when chipping the golf ball. That's one of them. So first off, I do not want you using your most lofted club. This is my 60 degree wedge. What happens is, even though we have a short shot and you want it to go high and soft, because of the loft is so steep, you're gonna take that at such a steep angle of attack. You do want a steeper angle of attack in general, but for the average player, the 60 is way, way, way too much loft for this type of shot because your margin for error is incredibly small. And if you're coming up here, you can thin it and zing it across the green, or as you saw earlier, you just chunk the snot out of that thing, neither of which are going to be good. So never use your 60 degree in this situation. Here's what you do. I like for you to use your pitching wedge. Why? One, it has a lot of bounce. And so that equals forgiveness. Two, it's not so steep as your 60. So in other words, visually, you're not gonna be encouraged to come down so steep on it. And more than that, what happens is, you know intuitively that it's got a lot less loft than the 60. Let's say 48 degrees versus 60 degrees. So you're encouraged to move that ball way more forward in your stance, which gives you more bounce, which gives you more forgiveness. And all of that are things that we desperately want on a little shot like that. So we have more opportunity for success. Now, because you're taking less loft and because you're gonna do things more correctly, the next thing you should never ever do on your little chip shots is put your hands way forward. I see this all the time, especially with the lofted club and the less loft, whatever. But a lot of times this is people's chipping methods. And that ball just goes across the green. This is no good. The whole day, every single shot, you're like this. The only thing you change in your shots is kind of your spine tilt, your shoulder angle right here. Driver, woods, irons, wedges. You're right here all the time. And then all of a sudden, you have this shot and you go from here to here. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do this? Why would you, who doesn't practice eight hours a day, why would anybody do one thing all day and then all of a sudden switch to something different? It doesn't make any sense. And it causes you to do everything you don't practice. So don't put your hands forward. Putting your hands forward decreases the loft on the club. It decreases the forgiveness, the bounce as you go forward, that bounce starts going negative. You don't want that. We want more forgiveness. We want to do what we do all day. We want to encourage what we practice. And so that's what we're going to do here. Our hands aren't going to go forward. Don't do that. Never do that. We're going to put our hands right where they like to go, which is in the middle. If anything, go back. If you go back, what's the forgiveness? The bounce. If we go back, the bounce becomes greater equals more forgiveness. So if anything, back those hands up even beyond center here. You get more loft and you get more forgiveness. We're gonna take a skinny stance, little stance, feet together, hands in the center or back. And just, if you keep your hands in the center and you move that ball forward with your pitching wedge, there you go. Now you got all the forgiveness. And if you open that club just a touch, oh my gosh. Forget it, you, it's not gonna go wrong here. If you get the third piece, the third thing that should never be done, you will be a rock star in your chipping. Have you ever seen that uh, little uh, metal thing with the balls on it and you let one go and it goes doop, doop, doop. You, You've seen that, you know what I'm talking about, that guy. That's chipping. That's how you need to move your body in chipping. So once you're all centered up and you got the right club and you're right here, loose, comfortable, narrow stance, loose in your knees, you got everything set up. I want you to do this little thing right before you hit your shot and visualize this, that metal ball deal. 
okay? This is your club, this is your hips, okay? You see that? That's what you're gonna do chipping. As soon as the club makes contact with the ball, your hips move. Boom, this is your hips. This is your hips. So you're not turning your hips back here. You're not turning your hips after the fact. As soon as it makes contact, your hips move. That's the motion in chipping, right? As soon as that goes, your hips go. I want you to just practice that a little bit right there. And that's your chipping motion. People so many times leave that out because they, I don't know why, but it's critical in chipping. So you got everything. That's gonna help you use the bounce. It's gonna help you use the loft of the club. It's gonna help you turn and rotate through the shot in a way where you're not chunking it by staying down like this. So just think that little ball deal, those are your hips. So a little swing, and I'm just, as soon as I make contact with the ball, my hips are moving. That's all it is. It's just that little motion right here, even those little shots, that's all it takes. Think about that little metal ball, that little toy you played with at Christmas, and you're rotating through, and I'm turning the hips right here. So now you know what not to do and what to do to have epic, world-class chipping. Get to work, love you guys. See you next time.